Is right now a good time to refinance your home? The answer is yes, of course, it always is. You see, we have the lowest rates we ever had. You're like, well, no, Isaac, in December, the rates were lower. Sure they were. Sure, it's true. They were even lower than they are right now. But why you didn't do it? Why you didn't refinance in December when the rates were so low? Well, most likely because you're like, well, Isaac, I tried. I tried, but my credit sucked. Therefore, I couldn't really do it. Well, I, had, I live in Florida, and title costs are through the roof. Have you seen title, uh, title cost uh, for the state of Florida? It is crazy. And then some people in California will say, well, you know, the lender wanted to charge me so many points. I didn't want to do it. Look, this is the way I see it. And I'm going to keep repeating myself over and over again. People really focus on one thing, in the terms. Terms don't determine the amount of time that it's going to take you to pay off the loan. Hold on before everybody starts jumping on my throat. Let me repeat this again. Terms, the term of the loan, doesn't determine the amount of time that you're going to be paying on the loan. Term only determines how much you're going to be paying. If you really want to pay off your loan in 15 years, what do I care if the loan says 30 years fix? Get the 30 year fix, get the payment that is affordable and that you feel very comfortable with, unless you can afford it, and that's a different story, but you feel very comfortable with. And what I mean with that is, look, people literally try to pay off their homes. They're like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to a 15 year loan because it's the way to go. Look. 0.000001% of the popula population should be in a 15-year mortgage. Why? Because the people that are on a 15-year mortgage are people that are very stable, so sorry, solid, uh, and they're like, dude, they're like financially successful. They can do whatever they want in life. They have money to pay off the house in full if they feel like it. Those are the people that should be in a 15-year mortgage. But if you are paycheck to paycheck, you have car loans, you have credit cards, you have student loans, dude, the last thing you want to do is pay off your home quick, fast, immediately. I now, I know David Ramsey can tell you all his life story. I don't care. David Ramsey, first of all, is not worth, he's not a billionaire. He's not this ding-dong that is worth millions and millions of dollars. He just wrote a few books he just has some very conservative ideas. And if that works for you, good for you. But you can't go in life thinking, okay, you know, like I got to be very conservative, save every penny. Do these times that you got to take the last penny you got and you just go all red or blue. You know what I'm saying, dude? If, if, if you got to invest. You got to invest in your future. You got to invest in your life. You got to invest in your health. And putting all your eggs in one basket because you really, really must pay off that mortgage. This is what I see very, very often. People that go and they refinance to a 15-year mortgage. People that go and make $100,000, $300,000 uh, down payment on the home. A year later, or two years later, you see the same people refinancing to a 30-year mortgage, taking cash out or even going up in rate just to consolidate some debt. Why? Because they made a stupid decision in the first place. If you don't have enough money to pay off the home, you shouldn't be in a 15-year mortgage. Dude, get a 30-year mortgage, put your life together first, first, pay off your debt, Take care of that car loan or, or lease a car. In my opinion, that's better, but that's, that's up to you. Of course, if you want to buy it, you want to buy it, sure, you can buy it. I don't care. Uh, take care of your responsibilities. And when you, your investments, when your uh, stocks, cryptocurrency, 401k, IRA, uh, real estate, whatever, whatever you do, whatever investments you have, if you have any, uh, when they start becoming very successful and you're in a position you, in your life that you're like, you know what? I could pay off the mortgage even if, I could pay off the mortgage if I want to. Then hold on. Hold on. Before you pay it off, why don't you consider going to a 15-year mortgage? 
why don't you consider going into a 10-year mortgage? Now we're talking. But you see, the people that can do those things don't normally think about those things because they can afford it. The people that cannot afford it, but be, they've been sold the idea, imagine a life without a mortgage. It would be so wonderful. Yeah, it would be so wonderful, but the fact is that you cannot afford it. And you should not be investing on the, the last penny of You shouldn't be taking like a, what is it, like credit card, uh, cash advancements to pay, to try to pay off your mortgage as soon as possible. That is nuts. And I've seen it. These days, it's a great time to refinance. This is uh, something else re really quick about, you know what? No, I'm going to make a video about this, about uh, closing costs. Then, then, then. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a good day. See you. Bye.